dog and we have been traveling across the country for almost two full years now coming up in June and we're just sharing our journeys with you guys. Today we are coming off of our crazy tornado episode. If you missed that, check that out up here and we're going to take you the rest of the way through to North Carolina. COVID-19 might be affecting a lot of people's travel but for us it really didn't change much and that is because we prefer to stay in dispersed camping spots, largely public lands like BLM or conservation lands and sometimes county parks in the case when we stayed in Texas and we really enjoy finding these spots. It's kind of a little bit almost a game to see what kind of awesome places that we can find to squeeze ourselves into. So in this episode we're going to take you through uh, Alabama, through North Carolina and the cool places that we found along the way and then on Tuesday tune in because we're going to show you exactly how we find these places and why we avoid RV parks when possible. Let's do a quick recap on where we stayed between Arizona and Alabama. The first place we came to was a parking lot. It was the only time that we lot docked on the entire trip to North Carolina. We found, the next night we found a place to stay in Dallas, outside of Dallas, Texas. It was a county park. Next we moved on to Louisiana from there and we, play, we found this great little like wetlands conservation area in outside of Monroe, Louisiana. We were basically staying in a swamp, but it served its purpose for one night. Then of course we hit some major storms and we moved over to Mississippi where we found Rocky Springs Campground. And that brings us to today. It is day five on the road. Am I right? Is it five or six? Day five. Day five on the road. Uh, we are leaving Mississippi. We're going to head into Alabama and find a place to stay there. What we really love doing on the road is finding boondocking spot, spots like this one where we can get water. This is actually managed by the National Park Service, but it is open. They had a, a number to call and a hotline that lets you know if it's I open or closed. I know, you did draw a trailer on the ground. And this is really nice, it's paved and there's water here. There's no hookups, it is dry camping, but it's absolutely free. And we would much rather stay here than in a Walmart parking lot or any other kind of lot docking. So far, we have only lot docked once and that was our very first night. We stayed in an open gravel parking lot behind a rest area. The rest of the times we have found campsites like this one and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll find another one in Alabama. All right. You ready to roll? Yeah. Somewhere, Alabama. Check this place out. There I'm gonna is. Tell you guys something. The whole road is flooded over there. It is. That's the storms came through last night and flooded the entire campground. We've heard really great reviews about this particular location. There are two different campground loops now for RVs. You really can't park in them. They're they're really made for tents. They have little spots with a picnic table and a fire ring and a pad just for tenting but this whole parking lot area here you can see the lines is perfect for parking your rv so if you are just camping with your rv you can totally stay here another thing that's interesting is that the bathrooms are open i don't know why there's no shower just bathrooms not that we're going to use them but they are open and have power and running water an easy setup well it's a nice little treat given the spot and it's all level perfectly level 
it's all very level where we park now. You know, we're not necessarily parking, but there's plenty of RV spaces here. Yeah. But being that no one else is here and that it's what a Tuesday, what is today? Tuesday, Monday? It's a Monday. It's a Monday. I doubt anybody else is going to show up. You know, if we had any more storms, that shelter right there will come in handy. We are at Belmont Park. What? Lightning bugs! We, we even tried to catch one. You were trying to catch one and then one just flew in our trailer. Bioluminescence. Zitter's silently cheering you on with her stick. <laughs> she didn't even move the whole time. Day six on the road and we are leaving Alabama. It smells so good outside. We are windows down, taking in the flowery smell. I don't know what it is, but it smells like perfume. It's, it's amazing. 76 I'm degrees. I'm trying to catch a leaf. Trying to catch a leaf back there? Yeah. Enjoying the breeze? looked a little panicked. John's Creek Campground in the northwest corner of Georgia. Ready to go? I am. Are you ready? Yeah. Day seven. Last day. Last day. Yeah. We're, we're skipping. Normally we were, we were going to try to hit one more state today, but apparently there's some storms that are heading our way and we wanted to get to our destination and get set up so that we didn't have to do all that while it was potentially storming. So we're going to head there today. <laughs> Chattahoochee National Forest today and I can't stop singing Alan Jackson. So far we really haven't run into much COVID issues. When we drove through Johns Mountain Recreational Area there were some campgrounds that were closed due to COVID. There are some churches along here. This is like there's lots of tiny little churches around here with signs that say yes we're open please come and worship which is interesting. Uh, other than that we really haven't 
been affected by COVID since we left Louisiana. We've been dispersed camping this whole time and those places have been fine, just the bathrooms have been closed. So uh, really not much different for us. We had a pullover because I just got sprayed with some gray water. Somehow the cap just like screwed itself off as we were driving. You stay right here. I won't break that. <laughs> Is it broken? No. It's just weird that that came off though. Yeah. It's just like some remnants of gray water. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that it didn't like wiggle the tank open. Oh, that would've been... <laughs> <laughs> that would have been freaking some great footy though. <laughs> yeah. we just spray crap as we go down the road. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, we're in this like really nice neighborhood. <laughs> Pulled over because there was nowhere to turn around. So now we're driving through this random neighborhood to fix our, our cap. Here we go. watching we're so excited that you're here if you are new to our channel please give us a thumbs up like our channel subscribe all the things and leave us a comment so that we can welcome you to our channel we really love doing that sometimes we're a little late on comments but I promise you we are reading them all and answering them as we can take care bye